our service of morning prayer. This morning, our service will follow the um, order of service in the Book of Alternative Services that you'll find in the seat. And as well, our musical selections will come from the prayer, praise book that you should have received when you came through the door. Welcome to any visitors who might be with us this morning, and as well, welcome to anybody who's viewing our service uh, by the internet or through uh, Eastlink. Our opening hymn this morning is hymn number 103, which is found in the praise book. And I know of another gentleman who needs to be 
you, Brady. I did go check downstairs for last year's people. Oh, well, we're accumulating a nice group of November ladies. Our God, and we are the people. 
people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand, all oh, that today he would hurry into his voice. Be joyful in the Lord, all you hands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Please be seated for the proclamation of the Lord. Anna prayed and said, 
My heart exalts in the Lord. My strength is exalted in my God. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord, no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Talk no more so very proudly. Let not arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is the God of knowledge, and by his actions are weighed. That vessels might be are broken, but the people were not strange. Those who were full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who were hungry are fat with spoil. The barrel has borne seven, but she who the barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. The Lord reveals and brings to life. He brings down to show and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low, he also exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap. To be made to sit with princes and in the mercy of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and not men he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness, for not by might does one prevail. The Lord is as adversary shall be shattered. The most high will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the power of his anointed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. second reading is taken from Hebrews chapter 10, reading verses 11 to 25. And every priest stands day after day at his service, offering again and again the same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, and since then has been waiting until his enemies would be made a footstool for his feet. For by a single offering he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. And the Holy Spirit also testifies to us, for after saying, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts, and I will write them on their minds. He also adds, I will remember their sins and their lawless deeds no more. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer any offering for sin. Therefore, my friends, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is faithful. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you can see the day approaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our gradual hymn is hymn number 113.
see it. I know that there are some people in this church who know what comes next. And they would be the little boys and girls. It's children's time. If you have a shoebox, if you brought a shoebox with you this morning and you still have it in your seat, you can bring it up with you to children's time if you like.
So it helps us get close to our friends. And I guess, you know, in, for us, um, somebody had to come up with the idea to make this toy for boys and girls to be able to play with, right? Ultimately, ultimately, I guess, yes, we're going to go back to it being God who helped the people come up with the ideas. You're right. You're very, very right. I can barely know this because I barely go outside because I got out of the hours. Hmm. Okay. And I'm not sure that it's a good toy to play with inside. I, I, I think there's a little pseudo toy you play outside. It's too dirty outside. Okay. All right. <laughs> the ground's too dirty. All right. So we have probably put it away for the spring. Yeah, okay. So we play with this instead. Yeah, okay. All right, so I guess what we need to do, I guess, is we need to be really thankful that somebody came up with an idea to make toys like this. Yeah. And the other kinds of toys, too, maybe dolls, chairs, video games, and all kinds of things that we can use. Credit. And Xbox Connect. <laughs> and 360, you're right. Next. I have to tell you, you guys know very lot more about the video games than I do, so I really know very little about them. And a PS Play. But I guess the thing, but the important thing, thing, I guess, is that somebody has, somebody had an idea, and ultimately, I guess, you like me, yes. God gave us. Okay, all right. I think we're going to move forward from the new games and the electronic games a little bit, though. Right, and I guess what we need to do is be thankful that God planted ideas in people's heads and made them smart enough to come up with ideas to make toys. I'm going to give this back to you. But this is really good, actually. I'm glad you brought it this morning. Because some of you have shoe boxes. I have my own. I have one that I packed at home. And I brought it. And I bet in... Probably every shoebox that's here in the church, there are some toys. And maybe some other things that you might have put in your... Maybe, yeah. And those things, everything that's put in a shoebox, inside of a shoebox, that's going to be sent to needy children is special. Because it's going to bring special memories. It's going to bring joy to boys and girls that we will never, ever, ever actually... I'm not sure about food, some things we can't stand, but there might be some candies in them, certainly there might be some, maybe even a toothbrush. Maybe a toothbrush, because you know what, the boys and girls who are going to get these things in the shoebox today really appreciate anything. And we're getting an opportunity, a beautiful opportunity to share a little bit of the things that we have with people who don't have as much of us. You can't send a toothpaste because it might freeze. The other important thing that I want us to do this morning is we've got a bunch of shoeboxes at the back of the church. And we've got two of our servers waiting patiently to help you bring them off. But before we do that, then you're going to go to Sunday school because I think this is probably an important day at Sunday school too. Um, I think you're going to start preparing for some important event that's coming up six or seven weeks from now. Um, so this is an important day at Sunday school. So I think what we're going to do is we'll probably do our prayer and have our little conversation with God, and then we'll go back down. We'll bring all the shoe boxes up to the front. And what I'm going to do is get the other two servers who are here. I'm going to get them to receive them from you and stack them neatly in front of all the altar. So we'll do our prayer, and then we'll do the shoe boxes, and then you can go to Sunday school. So I know the Sunday school teachers will really, really want to spend some time with you today as well. Sit down and fold our hands. Yeah, okay. Close our eyes. Miguel, are you going to talk? Miguel, are you going to talk to God with us now? We're going to have, we're going to have our time to talk to God. So when we're all ready, if we fold our hands and close our eyes, our eyes should be closed, our lips should be closed, and our ears should be open for now. We, we need to we need to talk to God. We need to talk to God. Can you fold your hands, please? Thank you. All right. Are you guys going to repeat after me? Okay. Dear God, Dear God, thank you, thank you for toys such as boxes 
to play with our friends and make special memories. Thank you also for the ability to pack shoe boxes for boys and girls who we will never meet. Blast the shoe boxes. And all the hands who will touch them as they arrive to the boys and girls who need them. Bless the children who will receive them, that they may also receive the gift of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh. Wow, what a really good group of boys and girls you are. Now, I'm going to ask you not to run to the back of the church, but I'm going to ask you if you go to the back of the church. And you know where babies get christened? Over in the corner? That's where the shoe boxes are. But before you go, um, I don't know if this was promised to anybody in particular. Uh, um, okay, I have somebody who's pointing to Evan, and Evan is pointing to himself. Am I right? Because when I'm typically behind, I'm typically behind them, and I know sometimes Reverend Daphne says you can have it next, but I don't get to see the face of that child. So if there's anybody here who knows, you think it might have been Evan? I'm sorry, it's been promised to Evan, and I have to uphold the promise. Um, you know what? This, this bag is going to go around and around and around and around. Everybody will get their turn. Okay? So, Evan, you can drop that off your dad. And now you guys can go right to the back of the church and bring the shoe boxes up. Please stand. 
pray that something in that message has touched each and every one of us. And we'll make our day a much better day than we were having, even if we were having a wonderful day to start with. Thank you. Please stand and join me on page 52 as we affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under the promise of power, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our offertory hymn is hymn number 58, found in the praise book. And as this is the third Sunday of the month, you will also find, once the collection plate is passed, that members of the vestry will also be coming with the plate with the empty envelopes for the rectory fund. So please, um, as you feel the, the need or, or feel touched to do so, please take an envelope and continue to help us support our financial obligation to the new rectory. Hymn number 58. Thank mm -hmm. you.
please join me for the prayer of the gifts printed in the bulletin. God of freedom, accept all we offer you this day. May we embrace the law of your service and all the glorious liberty of the children of God. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Christ our Lord. Amen. I ask your prayers for those who have died in the peace of Christ, and for those whose faith is known to God alone. We pray that God may be glorified in all these things. Together, O oh God, the giver of eternal life, we give you thanks and praise for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all your saints. Grant to us and to all who have died in the hope of the resurrection a share in the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ and fullness of joy in the fellowship of all your saints. All this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us give thanks to Almighty God for all his goodness. You are worthy, O Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power. You are worthy to receive destiny and praise now and forever. For yours is the majesty, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please join me in the collect as it's printed in your bulletin. Almighty God, you send your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the light of the world. Free us from all our darkness and sins, and bring us to eternal life and joy, through the power of him who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And now our closing hymn is hymn number 34, down in your table.
like to say thank you to all the people who have been behind the scenes helping me prepare for this service this week. Um, I thank Marcy and Judy and Robert for providing us the music and the servers and Mildred for being here. Um, Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.